Hi, I'm Leanne, cutter specialist here at Rapid View. Today we're going to be going over the Microgator all electric cutter. We're going to assemble it from the crate. We get the crate open, show you how this goes together. And here we have Microgator 2.0. We're going to bring a crane down. All of our truck builds are assembled with a crane inside. Just give me just a few minutes, we'll get it hooked up. Get the cutter out and start assembling. So we're just going to bring this up out of the crate so we can work on it freely. Get the crate out of the way. As you can see, it's pretty stable on, it's real stable on this uh, hook here. So you don't have to worry about it falling off. Um, first, we're going to start at the front here. The electric cutter has a camera that is attached on the front so you can see going down main line. So we're going to pull this off and we're going to attach the front cam. So basically there are four bolts in the front. Real easy to uh, put on. We're going to remove these four screws. Okay, we've removed the four screws. Now we're just going to remove this cover, just pull it off. Remove the cover from the camera. Four screws also there. So it just pulls apart after you get the four screws out. Has a lineup pin here. So you line this pin up to this hole, set it in there, and just push. So it's real easy to put on, and then you put your four screws back in. There's no way to damage pins or anything as long as you hit that lineup pin. It's going to go right on for you. Take your four screws, put them back in. Now this front cam is just a uh, viewing cam. It's a viewing camera. Um, you don't have to add air to it. It's just uh, what I call a box camera. It just, it views forward, it gives you lights. You can see everything in front of you. If you look close real he right here, there is a little nozzle that sticks out. And what that does is that sprays that lens off. So if you do get something on your lens, you can hit clean in operations and it'll spray water over the front of that to keep it clean. So you can always see heading down the main line. Next, I always, I always uh, take the covers, I reassemble them, put them together, and I put all four screws back in it so I know where both of my covers are if I do remove this or have to take it off. I have four screws, I have the covers, they're all together, and I'll put it right back in the box that the camera came out of. It just, uh, it's better for me to keep track of it that way. Just good practice. So let me get this back together real quick. 
You don't have to tighten these in, just make sure they're in. So if you happen for any reason lose one of these, you have four here. Just like that, just put them back in the box. Next, we're going to go ahead and assemble the front cam or back cam, your cutter camera. We're going to remove it out of the box. You notice there's a cap that I just removed here, and there's another cap on the camera. I pulled them both off, put them back in the box so I always know where they're at. And then I pick up my two screws that are in the box to put the camera on. With the camera, I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. There is a, a ledge here on the bottom. You take the camera, set it on that ledge, and just push forward. So that ledge lifts that camera to the proper height and slides it right on. There's no forcing it, it just slides on there. Then you take your two bolts and you stick it on the in the camera slots there. Take your T-handle, tighten up your two bolts. And it's all lined up. You don't have to wiggle it. It would everything lines up flush here. Your bolts will drop right in and then you can tighten them up. There's no twisting or turning, it's just push straight forward and put your bolts in. Okay, that is done. On, the, on, this, on each side you have um, some hoses and what you're going to do is hook these up to the front of the camera. This one's the water, or I'm sorry, this one's the airline. The other one's a water line, so you're going to hook up both your hoses. You just push them in, and you can feel that click, and then they won't pull back out. So you've got air and water hooked to your camera. You've got your camera secure to the cutter. So when you uh, are ready to operate, the water and air will go to your lens, and uh, you'll be able to wipe it, keep it clean. So next... We're going to go ahead and set this up for an 8 inch setup. So I've got my 8 inch tires, I've got my bolts. So basically, all you do set your tire on, hold both of your bolts, and you'll feel them click into the slot. So I just hold them up, and they'll slide into the proper slots on the back side. Snug them up. Now also, when I'm putting these tires on, what, what I try to uh, keep in mind or remember that if I have any slop movement of this tire when I'm putting it on, there's, I'll show you on the other side. So once I get these tight, if I feel any movement back and forth, then I'm going to go ahead and check these set screws here to make sure this is tight onto the nice and secure on the shaft. So you wouldn't have to do that. I mean, you don't have to do that on a new one. It's just uh, something I practice. So now we've got our both cameras on, got our tires on. We're going to go ahead and hook up our cable. So for hooking up our cable, I like to lower this down. 
I don't know if it's because I'm short or... So we're going to go ahead and take the tension off that, get it down on something stable. You can put it on the crate, you can set it on the back tailgate. We're going to grab our wrench that comes with the cutter, it's in your toolbox. We're going to lift this up, the back end, it swivels, so you can lift it straight up to you. And then we're going to remove this cover. You see there's two lineup pins on this cover. So we're going to remove these four, four screws. Okay, and I'm not going to remove that cover yet until I get the other end undone. So I'm going to grab my cable out here. I'm going to walk it over so I'm ready to assemble. I get it in the right position. What I want to try to make sure that I have these kinks out of the cable before I hook it up. So there's a line, <clears throat> there's a line on the cable. You want to make sure you can keep it as straight as possible when you're hooking it up. That just keeps all the twists out of the cable. So I'm going to remove the bolts on the back side of this. Okay, now I've removed all four bolts. I'm going to go ahead and remove this cover. You can see inside it. There's two lineup pins. One on each side here. I'm going to lift this back up. Now I can remove my pin side. So there's pins in here and I don't want to, I never want to uncover it until I'm ready to cover it back up. So I'm going to come around here. I'm going to get my cable and my lineup pins. I can see that they're lined up on both of these pins. And I'm just going to push it down. I'm going to push it straight down so it goes together. As long as I hit those two lineup pins, here and here, this will slide right on. You don't, you're not going to damage any pins, you're going to go straight on. So I'm going to put my four bolts in. So once I got it all the way down, I do the same thing, kind of like on your tire. I go around. And make sure they're all tight. One last time. There. So now my cable's hooked up. <clears throat> Same thing. Take my two covers. I put them together. And I put the bolts back in them. So I always have extra bolts. I always have the covers. Um, when I'm removing this, I'll have the covers and bolts together. As soon as I unhook it, I can put them back on. It just keeps dirt or anything falling on that end and making sure that I'm not damaging my equipment. Okay, so I'm gonna set my cover over here, put my wrench back, and now we're ready to air these two up. So we're gonna go ahead and get our, our air pump, which is our standard Ebok air pump. We're going to remove the 
cover. Plug it in, make sure my cap's tight. So this takes a T30 wrench. The air fill is right here in the front of the cutter. So what I'm gonna do is loosen it up. Remove it. So I'm going to put my fitting in. Snug. Grab my air pump and we're going to go to one bar. Okay, we're at one bar, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to remove my air fitting. I'm going to take my cap, put it back on. I'm going to make sure that it's seated properly by hand. Then I'll take my tool. What I'm trying to do, I want to make sure that I'm not getting it cross-threaded in there. I'm going to take it all the way down tight, so that is tight, and then I'm going to take it back a quarter turn. It's not going to fall out of there. The thing is, is it won't over tighten when it's running down the pipe. The other thing we have to do is we're going to go ahead and air up our camera now. There's a tool that comes in the box for your camera. Camera fittings right here on top. Remove this small little cap. Put your fitting in. Always set the fitting aside. It's very small. You don't want to lose it. Hook up my air hose. Same thing, I'm gonna pull out, push in, pull out, push in. And you notice that blew off, so it's at one bar. So you can't overfill these. If you get more pressure in it, it will just blow it off the back end. So get my cap back in my camera. Same thing with this cap. I tighten it all the way down and then just bring it up like a quarter of a turn so it doesn't over tighten. So now we are ready to go cut. The cutter is all assembled, it's aired up, we've got our front camera on, we've got our viewing or our uh, cutting camera on. Um, so we're able to set it in the pipe at this point and start cutting.